Jane Cole Joy, she was as bad at a camp meeting made by Mr. Charles Stewart at a starting record. <laughs> well, now, I don't suppose any of you folks was ever at a real old-fashioned backwoods camp meeting, was you? Well, if you never was, there's a treat in store for you. We have one down home pumping center about every summer, so about... A few weeks ago, we had our annual camp meeting. Well, for several days, we were pretty busy baking and cooking and making preparations for the camp meeting. And some of the committee allowed we ought to have lemonade for the Sunday school children. Well, we wanted to get it just as cheap as possible, so we dammed up the quick what runs back to the camp meeting grounds and put in 10 pounds of brown sugar and a half a dozen lemons and let the Sunday school children drink out of the creek. <laughs> well, some of the sermons preached at that camp meeting beat anything I ever heard in my life. You see, it was a long during political times, and we were having a good many arguments about Democrats, Republicans, sound money, free silver, corporations, monopolies, and trusts, and one thing and another. And one minister got up and said, My dear beloved brothers and sisters, we should not be too severe upon the monopolists. Yea, verily, if we read the scriptures closely, we observe our forefathers were all monopolists. Yea, verily, Adam and Eve had a monopoly upon the Garden of Eden. Yea, verily, and would have had it until his day, no doubt. Yea, verily, had not Mother Eve got squeezed in the apple market. Yea, verily. The scriptures do not teach us that Pharaoh's daughter was in the milk business, yea, verily. And yet we observe, my dear beloved brothers and sisters, yea, verily. She took a great profit out of the water, yea, verily. <laughs> well, sir, I believe that sermon busted up the camp meeting for that day. <laughs> yea, verily.